Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name is Glory. If you're a returning subscriber, my name is still Glory. Here, I talk about lifestyle, I talk about faith, and I am now going to be talking about nursing. <laughs> We look for love, no time for tears Wasted water's all it is And it don't make no flowers grow Good things might come to those who wait You guys, I'm at my favorite place again Because we're here to celebrate Because, yeah, I haven't told you guys the news yet But I'm just going to tell you guys <laughs> So I got into nursing LPN program uh, here at TRU and sorry if I sound very very congested because like it's still cold so as I was saying I got into nursing and I received my uh, conditional letter of acceptance day before yes yesterday it was just yet yes yesterday Oh my god <laughs> and yeah this is not like an official celebration i will still have like a moment um yeah. I, like i want to what's it called yeah like would i say not celebrate but then i want to go for like an official dinner dinner to like give myself a pat on the back for like sticking with the process and and you know the funny thing, I just feel like it just couldn't have been me. I feel like not even I feel I know that God had a lot to do with this process because I'm just like from where to where. <laughs> I'm like I I don't even know because I feel like I didn't even have the best of applications, right? Because number one, I didn't have like a lot of experience, especially like with nursing. Yeah, I feel like I didn't have a lot of experience, like especially with nursing. And so I'm just like, what could I have gotten the admission the admission for? I mean, I know like I know my grades were good. I feel like this music is going to get copyrighted. So I shouldn't even be talking here. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, um Yeah, I just came out to like eat because I'm excited and I'm happy. And just to like celebrate like the whole efforts and the whole past one year of work. This is not like an official, official, you know, celebration, but um yeah. I just felt like treating myself to something. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys when I get back home because like always the margarita everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask god for you just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary you may not see it now but when he gets you on the other side of it you're gonna see exactly why it went that way and you're gonna be okay with it see the problem that people do is you get in god's way see you tell god what you want then you mess up and tell him how you want him to do it the problem is you can't tell God how to bless you. All you got to do is write down what you want. God will give you everything you write down. I'm telling you, it used to be a lot of stuff on here. I had to take off. You don't see no cars on here because they all in the garage. That God I serve that done this for me, he'll do the same thing for you. Your real life ain't in your present circumstance. Your real life is not in your current situation. Your real life is not in your paycheck. Your real life, he tucks it away in your imagination. The Bible says, a man is as he thinketh. God created us in his image. God thought of this world. He thought of it, so he created it. So he made you just like him that your thoughts can create things. Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you imagine is a preview to a coming attraction. 
Once you understand that and quit looking at your imagination as hocus pocus, it opens up a wide range of things and possibilities. When you have these ideas of greatness, you gotta go forward. Cause it's not gonna be a right time. Just go. Listen to me. This is serious what I'm telling you. Don't you think it's nothing else? Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name is Glory. If you're a returning subscriber, my name is still Glory. Here I talk about lifestyle. I talk about faith. And I am now going to be talking about nursing. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you guys, that's the good news. I know you guys didn't expect it, but yeah, it also came sooner than I expected. I expected the news in April or May. Yeah, but you guys, I got accepted into the LPN program. You guys, I got accepted into the LPN program. Um, yeah, and I'm so glad and I'm so happy for it. I'm happy that all the hard work paid off and all the prayers paid off. <laughs> right? Um, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And so you guys saw the video where I, um, went to do like it. Well, the previous video where I was just coming from a restaurant. Yeah, so I went like yesterday to give myself like a pat on the back to kind of be like, yeah, we did it, we did it, right? And yeah, so it is like on to the next. <laughs> Somebody I know would, would say on to the next, and yeah, I guess it's on to the next actually. So my days in camps is counting down well i'm still waiting for like the uh yeah i'm still waiting for twu i also applied to trinity western university in vancouver either ways i'm still going to have to move from kamloops because the lpn program that, that's the licensed practical nursing program is in williams lake yes it's in williams lake and so it's still not in kamloops so either ways i'm going to have to move to either vancouver or kamloops or williams lake depending on um you know what comes after now i'm still waiting for the decision from twu so and that's the one i actually want to go to so fingers crossed um yeah i just thought to share that with you guys because i feel like you guys have been on this journey with me for such a long time about a year yeah about a year we've been working towards this for a year now and i'm so happy that the efforts paid off even if like right now i feel like quitting and dropping school but yeah that just like revitalized me actually honestly to be honest with you guys these past few weeks have not been easy and i even feel like i am not as disciplined as i should be <laughs> yeah um especially with my studies like i'm going to classes and everything but like you know you have to also study and read I feel like that part is anyways, that part has always been lacking. <laughs> That's always been lacking with me as a student. I'm always a I have been a deadline person, deadline person, which is not a good thing. And I know it's not a good thing, but yeah, I'm trying to work on that, like to not have to do things at the deadline. Because I, I know that if you don't do things at the deadline, you tend to produce a more excellent work. <sighs> but my lazy human body. Right, my spirit knows the truth, but my body is weak. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I just thought to you know share this news with you guys, and I hope you guys are happy for me. I'm happy with myself, even if nobody else is happy. <laughs> I'm happy with myself. I'm happy for myself. Um, and I look forward to the journey. The journey actually just begins because nothing is, you know, what nothing is. <laughs> It's a cause that strangles you by the neck. So I already know, like, in as much as I'm excited, I already know it's, it's work. And I can't even be doing, like, deadline, deadline, especially when I'm a nursing student, because, like, that will not even work, right? So, yeah, let's leave that. So today was actually a good day. It's currently 
almost 10 p.m i think it's it's 9 30 and i actually just came back i um a friend came in from vancouver and um invited me for something and so i it was kind of like a fellowship it was a fellowship not kind of it is a fellowship so there was a fellowship in school and i was like oh no problem like why don't we go for the fellowship and so we went and actually that's actually why you know i actually wanted to just i wanted to make a video right this night before i go to bed because what if like this is dark <laughs> what if like my camera is dark is it or is it just my i think it's just my okay okay yeah so it was a fellowship and it's a non-denominational that's not even important um yeah so it was a fellowship and i don't know some there's one particular thing actually that you know struck me from what the person who was sort of preaching said or the person that was admonishing us um he said something and it just took me back to the time where I just remember the conversation I was having with my mom a few months before I moved to Canada and you know he said something along the lines of he was just talking about um basically the whole sermon right was concerning how you know we're believers and some of us are still lukewarm most of us the majority of us as believers are still lukewarm like we're not hot we're not cold we're lukewarm and he, like he just made me realize that realize how like that is even the worst like you know how i said you can't be lukewarm you have to be hot or you're cold right because like if you're lukewarm it's kind of like you're in a helpless situation right like it just made me realize how helpless that situation is i never knew it was that bad i, I felt like if you were lukewarm at least you still have hope right like you're better than someone who is cold but i now know why he you know jesus was like you don't you shouldn't be lukewarm like he will spit you out, right, if you are lukewarm. Because, like, if you're... This is what the person said. Um, so the man's name is Mr. Wulu. That was the person that was talking. So this was what Mr. Wulu said. He was like, if you're lukewarm, you are... <laughs> Sorry, if you're cold, there is still hope for you. Like, we know that, okay, you are in the world, right? So at least if someone, you know, someone can talk to you, someone can preach to you. Jesus, like, you know, Jesus, you can encounter Jesus and, like... Your life can change if you're hot then oh that's good but then if you're lukewarm you're lukewarm that situation is a mindset where like you think you know but you don't know right and so like i feel like that's even the most dangerous place to be like nah it was scary for me like the realization was scary was was really da daunting i think that's the word for me right like you think you know but you don't know and like huh that's terrible that's terrible and i think like that's why jesus said like you can't be lukewarm because they can't help you at that point they can help someone who is cold they know his problem or they know her problem but then you that is lukewarm they can't help you because if they tell you anything you say ah you already know you already know right ah you already know jesus and stuff like that so what else can they tell you like what else can they tell you so, yeah that was very very eye-opening and the the other thing actually the major thing for i want to talk about was when he said um yeah when he said he was talking about like the world system and then he said you know how like we think like that's how life is like that's just how life is like you you're born you grow up you go to school you get a job you get married you give birth to kids you raise your kids they give birth to grandkids <laughs> you raise your grandkids like that's the cycle like that's the cycle of life and like he was like who told us that that's how life is supposed to be like who told us that that is the defined way that life is supposed to be i don't know if you guys are going to realize it the way i realized it the way it opened up to me when he said it i feel like that point was like it was that point where you know when like you've not gotten something in a long time and then there's just a point where the spirit like breathes upon you right and it just opens at that moment everything opens right so that's that was that moment for me and you know he said who told us that like, that's how life is supposed to be like that's the system that the world created that's not a system that god created right god never said oh you give birth to children you raise them you you fight 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 for a job you get a job you get married and things like that. like it's just 
uh, which that is nothing wrong with that basically right if you want to have kids and you know you're all about like you know I, I like i don't there's nothing wrong with that but then to confine ourselves within that box like i'm just like if you give yourself the opportunity to actually think outside that box like think that okay life actually doesn't have to be this way i'm sure like we'll come up with like a lot of like other possibilities like different ways to live life aside from like chasing jobs chasing marriage chasing kids like oof. and i remember telling my mom like this same thing once he said it, my mind just went back to the conversation i was having with my mom just before i came back i just before i moved here and i remember telling her mommy like i don't want to <laughs> it wasn't a bad thing right it was not like a bad i was it wasn't i wasn't saying from a bad space but then it was something I had thought of. I was like, I don't want to have the life that everybody has, right? I was, I was telling her like, I don't want to have, I don't, I don't want to live this life that you're living. I don't want to live this life that, like, you're living, that is living, everybody's living. Like, you get like you. I don't even understand. I don't even know how to put it. Like, when she was not like, she was not like, okay, like, she was like, I think she was like, what do you mean or something? I was like, like you have kids. She, you you sorry you're giving birth to you grow up you go to school you get a job you get married you give birth to kids you take care of those kids like it's just like a cycle then your kids grow up and then they give birth to you and it's, it's just like a cycle cycle i was like i don't want to have this life i was she was not like what do you want i was like i don't know <laughs> i want something different <laughs> i want something different like i don't want like it's weird like when he said it today i was like oh that means what i was thinking was not weird like i thought i was just being very very like weird and being very strange and being very will i say unnecessary but when he said it today i'm like yes i don't it don't be it feels what was the word now before i like misuse english it feels like it feels like it's choking like it feels like the system is choking and like you just ah uh, your life is just routine i'm just like <laughs> part of it part of what i'm saying is even like i can i feel like part of what i'm saying is coming from like a laziness aspect but let's leave that side we're not talking about that one for now we're talking about the other aspects right where i don't know just tell me if you if you get what i'm trying to say in the comments right i hope you do i hope you do but yeah that was just I, I just felt like telling that to you guys or putting that out there that i feel like there is a note like and it's not even like i feel like he was saying that if you yield to the spirit if you truly yield to the holy spirit do you get he could direct you in the same way which is not a bad thing like you know direct you to get a job direct you to you know get get married to a partner and stuff like that but then I don't i don't think the holy spirit is is that i just i don't think he is not boxed up right he's not boxed and like what he was trying to say is like if you truly yield right if you truly yield to the holy spirit he can lead you into a exactly a more fulfilling way of life a better way of living life than what the world has actually created as norm like as a norm or as like the the, the as like the normal right um i don't say normal but <laughs> i don't say normal as the normal there's a there's a um there's an emphasis when you say like as the normal right so like living living as what the world has created as the normal like it's it's something that you can work out as a believer with the holy spirit i think it's very very possible I think it's very very possible i mean i feel that is exactly what he's calling us to like to break out of the systems right to break out of the systems of the world because it is choking it is choking like a lot of people have gotten like so i have no words ah and i feel like my mind is all over the place i feel like my mind is all over the place but yeah that is exactly that's what I wanted to put out there. So, yeah, I need to go and do what I need to do. So, good night, guys. Um, I'll see you guys next. I'll see you guys. <laughs>
whatever that content is, you can literally tell that I'm glowing from the news. Yes, I'm glowing. Um, but I'm always glowing because my skin, <laughs> my skin is oily. <laughs> But yeah, it's a different type of glow. Like it's, it's coming from within. Um, and I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for it. I am so, so grateful. I am truly grateful for it. Truly, truly grateful. <sighs> God. Like, I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> I feel like I can breathe in peace. Right? I feel like I can breathe in peace. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'll actually show you like the the will i say the admission letter or the admission offer i'll put a snippet of it for you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for sticking with me up until this time um yeah i'll see you guys in the next i see you guys whatever that content is <laughs>